Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of Bare Bones Fishing. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, repairing one of my fishing reels here. <clears throat> so a couple weeks ago uh, I had a client out and while they were reeling in a fish they got their sweater uh, stuck here in this uh, in this line guide. Uh, they kept reeling and reeling and reeling and unfortunately what ended up happening is uh, after they were they were done uh, I didn't realize it until afterwards but the line guide just uh, stopped working altogether. So you can see that the uh, line has bunched up here in the middle. So anyways, I thought about maybe purchasing a new reel, uh, but uh, I wanted to see if uh, it was something I could tackle on my own first. What I ended up doing was uh, typically if I take apart a reel, I usually always start off on the opposite side from the um, from the reel itself when troubleshooting. The reason why is because usually this side of the reel has a lot less moving parts. And so if I can just, um, you know, fix the, the, the issue on this side, then awesome. Because uh, usually on this side of the reel, this is where you start getting into a lot more components and it's a little bit more in depth. So I did some troubleshooting. I removed this plate here and then inside we have this little plastic gear. Okay, and this plastic gear, they call it, uh, I'll put it up on the screen. I, I found the parts list online. And so anyways, this is called a transmission gear. And so uh, you can see that there is this internal uh, gear component here and this is what actually had had stripped okay and so what happens is as you're reeling in this little gear attaches to the gear that that spins the the uh, the, the line guide okay and uh, so anyways that's what the that's what the issue was and so I figured okay simple enough um, uh, let's see if I can find that piece. And lo and behold, I found a uh, supplier through uh, Steve at uh, Lambeth Rod and Tackle here in London. He referred me to to a company uh, based out of Aurelia. Honestly, uh, right now the the company name is slipping my mind, but I'll post it on the screen because they were super helpful, and uh, they got this piece to me in a couple of days. And so anyway, we're going to replace this transmission gear, and hopefully that fixes the issue. So like I said, um, obviously because I've removed the gear now that line guide definitely isn't moving um, but it wasn't moving very smoothly before and so anyhow let's uh, take this apart and see if uh, if it makes a difference this gear sits um, inside it actually sits inside of this plate here okay but it lines up with this gear here okay and this gear is attached to a, I believe they call that the worm shaft that piece of metal there that that kind of makes the line guide go side to side and so what happened is it sits just like that and so as the client was reeling and reeling but the line guide was was stopped because of their their sweater it just kept stripping and stripping and stripping and so that's uh, how we ended up with our, our stripped gear there and so now let's uh, replace this okay and so I don't need to do anything on this component here for this repair it all gets done here on the plate the gear sits right here okay and so we'll just remove this component we're going to remove this screw as well so now I'm going to place the gear to the spot I'm trying to do this through video oh we're gonna get rid of that grease in there we don't want that big dab of grease we do want some grease around here though so we'll place that there smooth it out afterwards okay so we're gonna return the set screw here and so while I'm doing this I'll just explain you know that obviously it would have been probably much easier for me to just go and buy a new one make sure it spins freely good to buy a new one but this piece with shipping and handling you know cost me I think it was 12 bucks or 14 dollars and you know um, spend 130 or 140 or 14 you know especially when it's a quick fix like this now if it was something a lot more major you know that I wouldn't be able to repair obviously I just buy the new reel but I figured why not give this a shot okay so we're going to replace this component here make sure it's around that and it's sitting properly in there great okay so we're going to take this set screw put it back into here 
Excellent. Okay, so there's the gear. Like I said, it's, it spins very smoothly now. Hopefully this will resolve the issue. So now I'm gonna put the plate back on the appropriate orientation. And so before I start um, putting on any of the screws, let's take a look to see if it, the line guide starts to move. So you can see now the line guide moves very smoothly back and forth. Excellent. Okay, well that's exciting. So that resolved the issue. Okay, so now we're ready for the, the uh, final assembly here. Just like that. Oops. There we go. Clicked in. Perfect. Okay, so now let's get this all done here. Okay, and there we have it. Freshly repaired Okuma reel. I really like these um, these reels. They're you know they're built pretty solid. Um, you know, like I said, the the, the gear being stripped in there. Uh, not to say that that was unavoidable, but honestly, like I feel like any real brand would have had that happen. And so there we have it. Uh, you know, fourteen dollar part in a couple of minutes of tinkering and we got this thing good to go so now i just have to obviously remove the line get it restrung and it is good for hopefully a few more outings anyways hopefully you learned a couple of things here and so yeah if you ever um see that happening where the uh, the line guide stops moving um check the check that transmission gear uh you know there's obviously a couple of other uh troubleshooting things that you can look at for that you know is there are there any issues with that uh, that worm shaft um there's that metal gear as well you know um and so anyway if you ever have any issues with the with the line guide take a gander at those components there okay thanks very much and i will catch you on the next one